Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, and yes, my wife is here with me. Hi, guys. Welcome once again, guys. It's time for another unboxing Universal Yum Box. This time I have my wife with me because, heck, why not? Uh, the channel is growing and I want to try new things. And this is one of the things that I've been wanting to do in a long time. She finds, she finds, finally said yes to something. <laughs> and that is to try uh, some snacks with me. So let's see how she does. And uh, I'll see if I bring her back for more snacks or not. Uh, I, I like to think that I'm the less picky eater from both of us, but she says otherwise so anyways guys before we open the box if you have not done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel uh there is a giveaway happening you have just a few days to be part of it so make sure make sure you subscribe go watch that video after you watch this video and then you guys can be part of it november 1st is when i will announce the winners live uh please be there so you guys can claim your prizes thank you again for all the support uh, by now, hopefully, we've already reached 3,800. If not, then we're just a few people from reaching it, so subscribe if you haven't done so. Okay, let's open this box. This box is apparently the home of the world's longest railroad. Uh, again, it's from U uh, Universal Yums, and it's not sponsored by this channel, so buy it or not, I don't care. Um, they're not paying me anything anyways. So, it looks like it's going to be from Russia, and a uh, pretty good place to start trying. Uh, my wife is new to this, so she's looking around like, what's going on? <laughs> there is a booklet, and with this booklet, uh, they give us all the different snacks and what we're going to be eating. There's also trivia that we never do. We won't do it again, uh, ever again, after the first time we did it. And then she'll be able, or we'll be able to see uh, little facts of the snacks that we're eating today. So... We'll go off the list instead of what we see first. Although what we see usually is chips, and I don't really see chips. <laughs> so maybe those are, those chips. are chips. Okay. <laughs> maybe. It so says the, it right there. The first one is going to be right pear milk chocolate. Um, rich milk chocolate with ooey gooey pear feeling. Can you read what it says there? This Russian chocolate bar is full of beauty. No, we're not talking about the sleek wrapper or even the delicious looking chocolate inside. We're talking about the pear filling. You see, Russia is home to an extra sweet, highly sought after pear known as a uh, krasulia, which literally means beauty. So what you are waiting for, or so what are you waiting for? <laughs> it's not every day you get to take a bite of beauty especially in robes and luscious russian milk chocolate okay i'm well, not a fan <laughs> of pear i'm not a fan of pear either especially with chocolate um but there it is it's a full bar guys i mean it's a full bar that's pretty nice we're gonna eat both one piece of bar right there and uh we do have a throw up bucket again i like to think that <laughs> i am the less picky one in the entire series i've only thrown away one item off my my mouth and i'm pretty sure it was it was probably expired or something uh so we have our bucket here in case she needs to throw away her food or we have also drinks to clean our palates um in case it's that bad so let's see how the chocolate tastes Oh, it's actually, and I do it's filling, yeah. It says ooey <laughs> For some reason, I was, I was expecting it to be infused. Hmm. It tastes like world's finest chocolate. The chocolate's good. It kind of also tastes like those Valentine's boxes that have cherry filling. The filling just tastes like that. Yeah. Yeah, huh. it's not bad. Just a standard chocolate. The pear, you don't really taste the pear. It just tastes like sweet, sweet, um, what's it called? Whatever. Gooeyness inside. It's corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, corn syrup. So, anyways, uh, the next one looks like it's Sovietsky cheese potato chips, which are these. 
You can tell by the words. It's Russian. Um, looks like it's made with absurdly addictive Russian cheese. And everything in the back is in Russian, so I can't read any of that. And the joke, ongoing joke here is that some chips that we ate last time said that it caused cancer. So hopefully these don't cause cancer. <laughs> but if they do, we go together. Oh, well, that's not good, bro. <laughs> uh, time to try the devil's apple. When potatoes were imported from America in the 1700s, Russians gave them this sinful name due to their absence in the Bible. Wow. Little did they know. Uh, Sir Nicholas, I would order... Um, sorry. <laughs> Sir Nicholas I would order potato planting in the 1850s paving the way for modern Russians to use them in practically everything. Okay. Smell that. That smells good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It smells like that smells cardboard. Like, it smells like imported chips. That's what it smells like. It smells like cardboard. <laughs> you haven't been here enough to smell <laughs> some chips that have smelled really bad. This smells good. <laughs> I mean, it's, mm, it doesn't smell like... So far, we haven't tried anything weird, so... I need, like, a good chip, not... Well, okay, whatever. They're all Ready? weird shape. Let's try it. <laughs> it's just a chip. It tastes very bland, actually. You think so? For a cheese chip? Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's a chocolate. I, th I personally think it's a chocolate. No, I mean, yeah, the chocolate was very sweet. Um, it tastes like a more bland version of Ruffles. Yeah, the I, cheese, I would have that. The cheese kind. Yeah, I'll give you that. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Boiled milk and chocolate cake. Uh, is that something we're actually trying? What? <laughs> uh... We'll see. It might be in the cool pack, but there's no really picture for those. I don't think we're trying those, actually, so we'll, we'll skip that. Yeah, we're not trying those. White chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. Now, you guys know from a while that I I don't like wafers. Um, I just I just don't. It's, just, it's not a new thing that I said here, but I've always tried them. I always eat them. It says, this yum is a fairy tale. No, really, its name is Ordinary Miracle. Okay. It's based on the title of a Russian fable in which a wizard transforms a man into a bear who then falls in love with a princess. Sounds more like an extraordinary miracle to us. But even that isn't, a fanta is, isn't as fantastic as the yum it inspired. Okay, so hazelnut sounds good. The cream doesn't sound that good. Or the white hazelnut. chocolate. No, it sounds. It all sounds good to me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like white chocolate. I like hazelnut, and I like wafers. So. So there's a little piece for you. They come like in kind of uh, nuggets. It's mm. wrapped in the wafer. I thought it was gonna be like on yeah. the inside. Yeah, it's like a nugget little size thing. It's kind of interesting to I be had honest. I pictured it to be like a Kit Kat, but oh. it's it's like an. An inside-out Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, it is an inside-out Kit Kat. <laughs> so the wafer is in the outside. See, I've tried a lot of wafers, so I'm kind of used to the wafer being in the outside more than the inside. But yes, it is an inside Kit Kat. So the wafer is in the outside, and the white chocolate and hazelnut cream is in the inside. So let's see how they taste. Oh, I like that. A lot. Mm -hmm. Too sweet. Mm. Mm, you can keep that for later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It's too creamy in my mouth. It gets stuck too much in my mouth. Yes. There's kind of like a... It's like, it's like tarty. It gets stuck all over. There's kind of like a caramel-like um, aftertaste. Do you think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't think I it's, like it's, that. It's the hazelnut if, or that's, that's infused into it. So, yeah, it's different for sure. <laughs> but it's not I mean, bad. No, I like it. Okay, exotic fruit jellies. And unfortunately, there's only two. And they're, they're both different flavors. But apparently, they come in ripe mango, 
blackcurrant mint and strawberry pepper. So, what? Um, I don't know which is which, so here you go. <laughs> this I, I'm gonna, is... I've seen that's the blackcurrant mint, and this is the they strawberry have, pepper. They have pictures on the, on the wrapper, but mine looks like a grape. Is there a grape? <laughs> mine looks like a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just try them. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, this is the black currant. Yeah, berry. I think I'm pretty sure this is the strawberry one. Okay. So these typically are not that bad because they're like they're candies for kids. They're trying to attract kids. Wait, are we gonna eat all of it or like? It's just a bite. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> first time in the in this series and she spits out in the first video. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Maybe is... it was after the hazelnut. I just, mm -mm. I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, see this one. This one tastes weird. I'm telling you. It's not bad though. It gives you that little fresh mint at the, at the, at the end. This one tastes but why would you mix berry and mint? That's not... To get a fresh freshness out of it, I don't know. It's not bad. something that. unheard of here. They're actually not that bad. Again, they're meant for kids, so pretty much they keep it as, as simple as possible. Oh, this one's really good. The strawberry one is probably the best one. Mm -hmm. But the okay. blackcurrant mint, I think it's because the it, we don't know what blackcurrant is. <laughs> so we're just... Our, our, our head can't process the flavor. But... It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Inside the bag, there was these little uh, circles here, and these are gonna be coconut and white chocolate. Man, white chocolate is loved everywhere. It's so annoying. <laughs> I do love white chocolate. So these are coconut white chocolate hazelnut balls. A creamy, nutty luxury. I opened it up, sorry. No, that's good. Well, this is an odd shape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's not really a ball, more of like a little blump. <laughs> it's a blump. Oh, I, it smells a lot like coconut. It does smell like a lot like coconut. So, okay, let's try it. I don't like coconut either. Me so, either. Let's, let's try it. Oh. I wasn't expecting a crunch. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> not mm -hmm. bad. The coconut is the main ingredient. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a coconut cake. <laughs> yeah. Not a big fan of it. I like it. I could do without it. I'm not, I don't like coconut when I see it or like when it has the little, like the shreds of coconut, but I can drink it and I can eat it hidden like this. It's really good. Okay. Well, it looks like we have only a few items and I think the one that we jumped actually was in here. The boiled milk chocolate and cake, I believe that is, that is here. What? This one right here. This is the boiled, boiled chocolate and cake. Um, it's also a kind of wafer thing. Uh, it's all in Russian, so I can't tell you much about it. Other than the look at this yum. Are you looking? Awesome. You're, you're now looking, locking eyes with a Russian icon. Seriously, bearing President P Putin. There's no face more familiar. Okay, so it's a baby. It's a baby. Uh, boiled milk and chocolate cake in the form of a wafer. Oh, there's the picture, and it's pointed that way. Okay. It says <laughs> start here. You that makes start sense. With it. That, that makes sense. Okay. So here it is, a little cake figure. We're gonna cut it in half. <laughs> give it half. <laughs> it's not like we're gonna eat it all anyways. So that actually doesn't smell. It's you know what it smells like? Like a gancito. It smells like a gancito. <laughs> yeah, a gancito is a Mexican uh, snack. A lot of you guys in my channel are Hispanic, but a lot of you guys are not like a, also. Uh, but it's like, like a it's, hostess cupcake. Like a hostess hot cupcake. Again, a lot of you guys are, are international, so you might not even know what a hostess cupcake is. It's just... You don't even know what it is. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's try it. I'm scared. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's good. 
shit's a good on people. <laughs> the feeling is different, though. There's a feeling? Yeah, there is a feeling. Where? I don't know if we talked about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a feeling. I think it's like the milk. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like condensed milk, almost. Uh huh. That's really good. That's good. It's really good. Uh, okay, that definitely goes in the higher level. We're gonna rate these, by the way. I, I, I didn't. What? I didn't tell really. We'll rate these from. We'll just say which one's the best one in our point of view and the worst one. We well, won't actually rate all of them. I'm gonna but. have to <laughs> taste them again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got two more left. Two more left. Uh, more wafers, my gosh. Uh, bullet mushroom bread bites and then nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Let's start with the wafer because we're already in the sweet section. Um, it's another wafer. Wafers are loved everywhere. It seems like every box has chips or some type of chocolate or some type of wafer. That's basically what they always go with, with Universal Yums. Um... I guess you can't go wrong with those those items, but I wish they would they would try something new off off from that. But you know, there's just so many snacks that actually stay fresh after you import them and then set them out in boxes and et cetera, et cetera. So um, very much like the other one uh, has kind of like a cake consistency, but this one actually looks like a rice cake. I'm trying to cut it in half. Oh, that, that didn't work okay, out. this is like what I think of when I see or when I hear wafer. That's this like that, that's a lot of layers though. That's that, that's, layers. that's too many layers. This this looks like it's gonna be dry. Let's try it. Nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Hmm. Oh wow. Like a peanut butter almost. It says Russia's softest, nuttiest, cakiest wafer. It's not soft. It's not the softest. <laughs> um, probably, probably the nuttiest. Yeah, I taste a lot of nuts in there. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't see them, mm -mm. I taste them. Um, I like it. It tastes like like something Reese's would make. You know? Yeah. Yep. Like, like peanut butter. Mm. Taste. Not sponsored by Reese's. So, anyways. You guys can go buy Reese's or not. I don't care. I'm going to clear my, my uh, mouth so I can taste the <laughs> mushroom bread bites now. I think I am too. But I'm trying to get... I have like little wafer pieces stuck in my teeth. <laughs> okay. While she clears her mouth, mushroom croutons. Naturally and oh. artificial flavored. So, yeah, that's basically what bread bites are. <laughs> They're croutons. Uh... Bullet mushroom bread bites. Taste Russia's award-winning wild mushroom. As uh, you're reading this, dozens of basket Russians are scoring their forest floors of Siberia. What are they doing? They're mushroom hunting. Okay. Apparently mushrooms are very popular in Russia. I'm not going to read the whole paragraph. I'm curious to know, though, like, do people just eat that as a snack or do they put it on top of a salad or something? Because that's what I think of when I think of a crouton. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen croutons in a bag here in the U.S. <laughs> Neither. It smells like a crouton. Yeah, it doesn't have like really a, that, much of, that much of a smell. It smells like, I smell it. It smells kind of garlicky. Mm. Okay, let's try it. It's a crouton. <laughs> it's a crouton. <laughs> it tastes garlicky too. Does it have garlic? Did it say that? I'm mm, sure it has garlic. Um, yeah, there's garlic powder in there. Not the main ingredient, though. Mushrooms apparently is the main ingredient. I don't taste the mushrooms at all. I don't taste mushroom. I taste garlic. <laughs> garlic is very overpowering, so that makes sense. Um, okay. Time of truth. Which one was the best one? Which one was the worst one? Um. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say for me the worst one is going to be this one. Um, 
it was way too sweet, overpowering, uh, and left a very uh, weird aftertaste, plus a spread through your mouth. You have to clean your mouth with your tongue. It's just disgusting. Uh, I don't like when, when things do that. <laughs> so, anyways, that for me was the worst one. Um, a lot of these were just, like, in the middle. They're not that great, but they're not that bad. Like, uh, the chocolate filling with pear, it sounded bad, but it was it was not that bad, actually. Uh, a lot of the wafers weren't that bad. The chips weren't that great. I typically put chips up there. They were just there. I mean, you can buy any chips that taste like this. You can probably buy the off-brand of Lay's of any store, Walmart, HEB, uh, whatever store you go. You buy the off-brand. This is what it tastes like, basically. No, I think that's even more bland than off-brand. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> and that, I was that's gonna, a statement. <laughs> I was going to say, but that's, for me, that's the worst one out of this box because although I just spit out that uh, black berry type mint thing, um, I mean, it had flavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so too bland for her. That puts it at the end. The best one, these are just so, for me, the entire thing was kind of bland, to be honest. But the one that surprised me the most was, I would say, this one. Uh, it reminds me a lot of a Mexican snack where we said it, Gancito. Uh, it has a different taste to it in the middle has that little, um, that I guess, cooked or boiled milk in the middle that tastes kind of like condensed milk. It was good. It was a surprise. When I saw it, I thought another wafer. But it, from, from all the wafers we had today, because we had like three or four wafers, that probably was the one that was up there above all these. Do you Wait, have a favorite? that was a wafer? I thought it was a cake thing. Yeah, I kind of have a wafer consistency inside. Um, jeez, this is hard because I love sweets and I did like all of them. Um, okay, I think I'm going to have to be opposite of him and I'm going to say this one was my favorite one. I did think it was odd that the wafer was on the outside, but I actually like the flavor a lot. And I wanted to keep eating it. I mean, a lot of these, I just, as you were talking, I was like, let me just keep eating this. <laughs> but I didn't want to seem like, you know, gluttonous. gluttonous. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyways, uh -huh. we'll probably go off, off camera and eat these after the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, let us know if you enjoyed my wife here with me. Uh, if you're watching up to this point and you haven't done so by now, what are you doing? Just subscribe. Uh, thank you for all the love and support that you guys have shown. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TikTok. Probably the best ways to actually find some information for me. Uh, very, very distant right now on social media myself, but I'm trying my best to answer stuff there. Um, I will try to put some of her social media as well. She has a shop online that she does a great job with. So if you are a baby or a toddler, or if you have a baby or a toddler, you can buy from her shop. Uh, you guys can get some awesome items from her shop. It is a baby boutique. Uh, so anyways, uh, if you don't, then go in and tell your mom and say, hey mom, buy from this shop for my baby sister or baby brother. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support again. Do you have any end thoughts? Nope, this, this was a lot of fun. That's all I gotta say. Uh, hopefully she comes back to the next box. Thank you guys for your love and support again. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.